I'm using Vista Window Vista Home Basic and it just made a bunch of update then I'm going to install I'm installing Design Unit 7 and it's asking me to run the setup to allow it should do is set is uh, installation all right now it's asking me to install and that take a long time for the whole thing to show up so D drive target install okay and it's going to go through the process of installing Alright, now I have to enter my CD case and my serial number, which you find on your CD jewelry box. Okay, I enter my uh, license number and my serial number, and the next screen, if you did it right, is this one, installation complete. And it's telling you that under the control panel font, to install the knitting symbol from Rose, Rose Malin 1, which is on the setup disk. Run Design Unit by double clicking on Design Unit icon. All right. Now with Vista, you may say that this program may not run properly, so we have to figure that one out. So I'm going through the process. So I'm exiting the program. I still have the design unit shortcut open and I'm going to go in the control panel and find the font they're talking about. Alright, so you go on the CD, design unit 7, explore, then you find the Rosemary 1 and you click on the right side of the mouse to go and open the font or install install font it's telling you need a permission it says ok and look like it's it let's go see if it's in our font this is the font Let's go in the R. Where's man one right here? So we install itself in the font on Vista. So the font is in the computer now. Now I know I have one of the first version of Design Unit 7, so I haven't put in a computer and I'm pretty sure they have a lot of updates. So I'm going on to the Design Unit uh, website, which is softbyte.co.uk, and I'm going to find the updates for Design Unit and install them. And for my part here, the version I see is 7.17.0, so I'm pretty sure I need to download the update, so I'm going to do the download. So I'm saving the uh, program update. Then I run the update. I have to unzip in a DAC7 folder. Alright, at this point do not remove your CD. If you remove your CD, it's going to ask you for a key 
which means you have to call your uh, the person in the US to give you a key number to open your design unit 7. So if you leave your CD in, it's going to let you go in without it. And here you can see I have the right version 7.18. Now I'm going to see if I can get the rest to work. So I plugged in that uh, USB serial port converter into the computer and is asking me to locate the drivers. So window is searching for the key span USA-19H. Let's see if we can find it. So Windows is not be able to locate it. It's asking me to put a disk and I don't have the disk so I have to find a driver over the internet. Alright I got the update for the USB I download it and I'm going to run it. And this is the cable and the installation is going. And it's going to install. The session is done. It's asking me to register the USB adapter. Alright, now I get the USB adapter update done. And I'm going to connect the silver link and the USB serial adapter together. Then I'm going to plug in the SL2 into the wall. Now everything is connected. Putting the power cord. And then I will have to get this box on the other side closer to the knitting machine so we can connect the curl cord into it. So I'm going to connect that but I need my two hands. Alright so I connect the Silverlink 2 to the machine directly which I find that a bit awkward because it's slightly short but it's working and it's connect to the serial cable which is connect to the power supply and the USB adapter that we did the update on.